For years, environmental, social, and governance investing was all the rage. But it's become something of a political hot potato recently, with 18 states now either enacting or proposing legislation to bar state governments from dealing with any financial institutions that take ESG into account in their investing. We asked Jane Fraser, CEO of Citi, whether her bank has lost any money because of ESG, and she had a very simple, direct answer. No. Um, but, but I think that's not really where we're focused. So when we look at it, the world's got a number of major transitions that we're going through. And to your point, these aren't, these aren't easy ones. So where we're focused on is helping, let's take climate. We're trying to make sure that there is both the realization of energy security um, for the world, which is critically important for economic growth, at the same time is that there is the investment and the innovation required in sustainable um, green sources of energy and cleaner sources of energy. And we've got to solve both of them together. They're not mutually exclusive. Um, so our focus is trying to move the noise out the way and actually roll up our sleeves and get on with the hard work of how do we um, help support our clients who are investing in the innovations, get them to scale, that will get those cleaner technologies that we need up and running at the same time as supporting clients who are also critical sources of energy um, for the world right now and helping them with that transition, but recognizing this takes time. BlackRock CEO Larry Fink went even further to say that at least in Europe. If you do not have a lens towards uh, decarbonization, you're not gonna win one, one euro of business. You know, we, we are one of the largest hydrocarbon, if not the largest hydrocarbon uh, investor in the world. Uh, because we're the largest indexer and we're, we work with all these different companies. At the same time, we're one of the fastest growing companies related to decarbonization. And let's be clear, the IRA in the United States is a game changer too. Whether banks are losing money or making money from ESG, the one thing everybody can agree on, we need to know what it is and by the way, how to measure it. Something that Brian Moynihan, the head of Bank of America, has been working on in his capacity as chair of the International Business Council for the World Economic Forum. We started uh, many years ago thinking about how the private sector had to make the changes to, to drive the, the economies and then you know, with, with all going on in the public sector, with all going on in debt levels and all that stuff. And so we sat there and said, okay, what do you need to do that? And what you need to do that was define a set of standards that we believe are the right standards. And then we got to stop from having a proliferation of standards. So there's, you know, at one point there was going to be 600, uh, in 2020 it was scheduled to be, I think in North America, like 600. Uh, seminars on metrics, ESG metrics, and we, we got to stop this. So we've come up with straightforward metrics that match the SDGs and these other things that people talk about. But they're straightforward metrics that say, you know, are we good for our, our customers? Yes. Are we good for our, our teammates? Yes. Are we good for our shareholders? Yes. Are we good for society? Yes. You know, that, that's how we drive the company. And, and so we're saying if you disclose those metrics, then people can see what you're doing. It is not just investors and financial firms that are concerned with climate and what can be done about it. Tech is also moving into the area. As we talk to Gary Cohn, he's now vice chair of IBM. So environment's really important. And, and as a technology company, we think about how we can help our clients. And we look, at the, we look at climate no different than any other sort of business operation. First of all, it's a data problem. It's a big data problem. So you have to collect the data and you have to get it into a usable format. That's something that IBM really thrives on is we help people collect data, we help getting it into a usable format. Once you have the, the data, you need the technology, you need the software, you need the analytic tools to start evaluating the data. So you've now got a baseline, you're evaluating your data, you know how much carbon you're admitting. Now, once you know how much carbon you're admitting, you can go through policies and procedures to change the way you're running your business, how you're running your business, and you can measure success. So you operationalize it, and you become much more efficient at running your business once you have the technology and once you have the data in a, in a way that's useful to you as a company. As Global Wall Street talked about climate in Davos, one of the main topics of conversation were those electric vehicle tax credits in the Inflation Reduction Act, which the United States says is a big step toward clean energy. But Europe is very concerned that it's actually protectionist because of the favorable treatment it gives for U.S. manufactured batteries. Democratic Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia came to Davos to talk about energy and why he thinks the U.S. approach makes really good sense. They've been coming to me for years saying, you've got to have a carbon tax. You've got to have a carbon fee. And I said, we don't have any, any 
other choices except to use fossil right now because we don't have the horsepower to run our economy and our country. But you want to penalize people thinking it'll make them do it quicker. I never used, I never thought that that would work. I thought incentives work better. And guess what? Uh, the Europeans have used the carbon tax and carbon fees forever. We come along all of a sudden and do something and we says, we're going to incentivize you. We're going to help be your partner and take some of the risk out. But you're going to have to invest. We're not sending you a check. You got to have either production tax credits or investment. Tell me which way you're going. We're going to work with you. You're going to have a 10 year runway. But that 10 year runway where the IRA and I know the administration has been touting this as an environmental bill, environmental bill. This is truly an energy security bill and we need everything. But we need a horsepower from fossil for 10 years. Wind, I mean, not wind, but as far as the, and coal, gas, and oil. But do it cleaner than anywhere. Yeah. That's climate. That's helping the climate.